Hey guys, this is Teacher Elo and I'm here to explain adjectives. Alright, so what are adjectives? An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun. And it's very important to understand what is a noun. So a noun is um, a person, place, thing, or idea. You can also watch my other video about nouns, what is a noun, if you like. Um, if you look at this picture, we see it's a house, right? So a house is a thing. It's also a place. Uh, you see the red roof. There are windows. There's a door, a garage. Those are all things. So those are nouns. Right. If we describe it or we modify it, then those words would be adjectives. So the roof, what color is it? It's red. So if I say a red roof, then I'm using an adjective and a noun. Alright, so for you, how can you describe this house? How would, how would you do it? I'm going to give you a few examples here. So, we can describe the house in many different ways. We can describe the size. It's big, it's large, it's nice, it's colorful, which means many different colors. It's expensive, that would be the price. It's extravagant, that's a, a more advanced word, but that means it's extremely nice, it's great. And there's many different ways to describe the house. It's just your creativity. What do you, you want to say about the house? So with adjectives, there's two general sentence styles we can use. The first one is the most common, the most basic, where you use the subject plus the be verb plus the adjective. So it looks something like this. The house is something. All right, so an example, the house is large. The house is nice. The house is expensive. Right, it's very subject, verb, object. It's the most common English sentence structure. The second style is to put the adjective before the noun or in front of the noun. And you can put this in any part of the sentence. So as an example, it is a something house. So it is a large house, right? So I'm just putting large in front or before the noun. Alright, so some students ask, um, how do I come up with these adjectives? How do I know how to describe? Or I cannot come up with different words. It's very difficult to be creative. And I understand that it is very difficult to come up with new words, especially in a different language. So the recommendation is to think about your five senses, right? Our five human senses and we can use those to find adjectives. And here on your screen, you see the five senses. So sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. And we also have the picture above that shows you all the different pieces. So sight is things that you see with your eyes. Some examples are beautiful, natural, bright. Number two is sound. So things that you hear with your ears, like loud, quiet, screeching. Number three is smell. So those are scents that you smell with your nose. So stinky, floral, clean, different ideas of smells. Number four is taste. So flavors with your mouth. So delicious, sweet, salty are very common tastes. And the last one is touch, number five, touch. 
which are things you can feel with your skin usually. And that would be cold, soft, smooth, and just there's many different adjectives. These are only a few examples. All right, so why would you use adjectives? Why is it important to learn about them and to start using them? Um, especially if you're an, an advanced English learner, you need this for improving your language, improving your writing especially, and we want our language to be better, right? Adjectives also add more details. So instead of saying a simple sentence like, my brother has an apartment, that's true, it's correct, it's grammatically correct, but it's somewhat boring. It's very plain and simple. So again, if you're intermediate or you're advanced, you need to add more information, right? So you can say, uh, my brother lives in a small apartment. My brother lives in a clean and, and great neighborhood. Um, and I love his apartment, right? So you can describe different things with adjectives and it helps people understand you a little more because you're giving them details and giving them other feelings. All right, so like always, we have a quick practice here. So in this case, you're just going to improve these sentences with adjectives. You can put any of your ideas in there. So I'll give you five seconds to pause the video, come up with your ideas, and then I'll give you some of mine. Okay, I hope you got some answers. Uh, these are my examples here. So my car is old. John plays with his energetic dog. Energetic would be with a lot of energy. The modern building is on 10th Street, and modern means something that is of new style. Next one, we are drinking herbal tea, and my best friend is smart. All right, so I hope you have some interesting sentences. If you'd like to add some of your sentences to the comments, well, you can check them out and share, and we'll leave you some comments also. All right, so like always, thank you for your time. And I do really love teaching about adjectives. I find them very fun. So if you want any more uh, videos or there's something, maybe a specific question you have about adjectives, please feel free to leave a comment or send me an email and I'll check it out for you. All right, so again, thank you for your time. Bye.